And welcome back to Coast to Coast. George Norrie with you, our shut own Lynn Wyeth with us as we are talking about nemology, names and letters. So, so you have looked at the coronavirus as a word. Tell me about this. So there's a lot of combinations in this, and so it's going to bring up a lot of emotions for everybody. And it starts off literally with a combination that is the most controlling combination in anybody's name. And when people have that combination, it says, I need to be the one in charge because I'm afraid of what happens when I won't be. And, of course, that just brings up everybody's fear. So it induces fear, and it wants to control. And then it goes into stress and health issues, and it, tax, it takes from us what we don't want to give. And it literally, in the name, says, I'm gonna, if you have any survivor issues, that you've gone through anything that would give you PTSD or any of that is going to bring up all of those issues to be healed. So that's the interesting part because the middle of it says we're going to release all of our shoulds and our should nots. We're going to have opportunities for self-growth and healing. We're going to be making connections, and we're going to be shifting fear to love. And you see some of that with how people are looking out for their neighbors. And the name also says it's going to affect all of us permanently. So nothing's going to go back exactly normal like it was before. Okay? It also has nurturing in it, but it also has an interesting thing right in the middle where it says literally you're going to have a challenge with work or a lack of work, or if you have work, you're not going to be motivated. And so it may be hard for people to say, okay, I've got to get up and get dressed even though I don't have a job to go to. Or if I do have a job to go to, I don't really want to do it. You know, so that's in the middle, too. It says literally in the name that this is contagious, but there's an appeal to it. So that it's going to capture everybody's interest. It's going to cause confusion with many people because their beliefs are going to be challenged, but it's going to cause all of us to constantly learn. Who came up with the name coronavirus? Who who came up with that? Do we know? Um, I looked for that. And I don't know who came up with it because it's been around a long time. Yeah, it has been. There have been many coronaviruses over the years. There's no doubt about that. Is there anything in the word that tells you it's going to go away? Yes. It says that it disappears and then it tries to make a comeback. So, And when I did the timing of it, because timing is in the names, it looks to me like it's disappearing by June or sometime at Toward the beginning of June, end of May, it's like it so kind of disappears almost as fast as it came in. But then it looks like it tries to make a comeback in September. But by November, it's like almost mute. Uh, interesting take. Well, let's hope you're right. Let's hope it's sooner than later, Sharon. My gosh, what a mess, huh? Yes, It's absolutely. affecting everybody. And I'll tell you, though, it's really bringing out... Uh, the best in people in so many ways, like the number of people that I've talked to that now have a brand new appreciation for a lot of fields that they took for granted, like teachers. Well, it's it's bringing out the best and the worst in people. Well, it brings out the fear and the stress, and then I think you get the worst. But I really would like to look at the positive because I think the remaining part of it is going to be positive. We're going to redo what's important to us. 